So you've got a fair man that you'll be dealing with and you've got dealings or relationship with a man with fair hair who's blonde or gray or has white hair. So a fair haired person that you have uh, dealings with and they uh, will feature somehow prominently in your um, experience in this next week. Um, you've got the cane be below it. You've got pay attention to your health. So make sure you are uh, going and seeking out medical attention if you need to. So this is important. Don't let things lie or don't ignore any health issues that you might be f having at this moment. And also take a bit of rest. This is very, very important. You've got the lily over here, which is spiritual love. So, um, you know, it might be this person here that you have some kind of connection with, maybe some kind of spiritual connection. Uh, but you also might be, uh, you know, looking into um, improving your uh, relationship with the divine as well with that lily card. Now, in the past, you've got the tortoise. So you've been slowly but surely getting ahead. So working very, very slowly. Uh, you know, things are um, taking their time to happen, but you're getting there. Um, they always say slow and steady wins the race, and it seems like that's what's going on here. You've got the shark card as well in the past, which says take care or there'll be a loss of material wealth. So there has been a need for you to just watch out for people around you. There's a lot of predators there. Uh, there might be somebody that you're dealing with who is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. So just be careful of people that you have been dealing with. Uh, they may have ha uh, got hidden agendas uh, that you're not aware of and um, you know there is a need for you to just be very very cautious so going into the future you've got the hat card over there so you'll be pay playing a different role soon so it seems like you might be making some kind of life change or uh, changing your career path or changing your life path as well you'll be wearing a different hat so doing something very very different so some change coming up and you've got a broom over here. So this is new home or a uh, new attitude. So things are about to change for you. And as we're ending the end, uh, 2000, the end of 2019, it seems like big changes are coming. There are endings of old situations. And maybe you're thinking of pursuing something brand new over there. So new brooms, uh, making sweeping new homes. Uh, you might be even making uh, a home move here, buying a home somewhere else uh, and starting afresh somewhere else. So you're going to, or, you know, starting a new job starting a new home uh, but definitely wearing a new hat so there's a big change a big newness coming in for you over there uh, but in the meantime make sure that you do pay attention to help this is very very important so those are the energies for that week so at the bottom of the de deck you've got the death card um, you've got the wheel of fortune you've got the tower oh goodness and uh, the page of vessels. So it seems like you've heard some kind of news uh, with this page of vessels over here. Um, it seems like, um, you know, somebody has brought you some kind of information uh, that was unusual. It might have been some helpful advice that has seems to have come in for you there. There's been a tower moment for you there. So some big dramatic change of events, a crisis coming up there with that tower card. You can see there's so many waves here, so you're crashing against this tower. Uh, so whatever this news is, maybe this person brought it to you with good intention, but it's ended up stirring up a lot of problems, a lot of issues going on over there. It's uh, caused a lot of upset, so it seems to have led to a whole series of events, uh, whatever this news is that you heard. It was something uh, quite unexpected. Uh, but it's turned up a lot of issues and there's been a lot of uh, drama that has gone on with it. Uh, a lot of upset. Um, you know, it, it might have been something that was very unexpected, but it's, it's turned out to cause, have caused some kind of crisis or have, has led to a series of events that has caused a crisis in your life over there. So a big drama going on over there. And this has brought in the wheel of fortune. So this, whatever this news was that started the whole thing off seems to have changed, uh, you know, the way things have been going. So the wheel of fortune generally takes you out of energies where you're stuck. It seems to have ended cycles. Something seems to have come to an end because of that news that you received or whatever that information was. It's caused a lot of drama, but it's also uh, brought an ending to a situation there and a, a distinctive ending because you've got the death card next to the Wheel of Fortune. So a big change has come in, a big uh, set of events, um, um, quite a crisis there, quite a drama going on over there, but it's ended a relationship and has caused you to have to move on to something else. So it could have been an ending of a relationship because of this news that you heard, uh, maybe a friend gave you some kind of information that you didn't expect, 
uh, or somebody's given you some kind of information, but it's led to a whole series of events, a chain of events that has ended up in the ending of a relationship or an ending of a situation, an ending of a cycle there. So some kind of big drama has happened. Right now you're in a state of uh, confusion. It seems like you may have um, ended this relationship and you're not speaking to this person anymore. Uh, maybe because of that news that you heard. You seem to have uh, broken off ties with this person. You're in conflict with them there with that two of swords. And you're trying to make a decision about what to do next as well. You can see there's that these two islands in the back over there. But also the two of swords is about conflict. Uh, you know, uh, butting heads with somebody, not communicating with them. Uh, or you're not seeing eye to eye at all. It could be even legal issues that you're dealing with as well. Um, you know, you're trying to uh, deal with the situation. You try, you know, divine guidance is coming in for you over there. And you're trying to get rid of uh, the old. So you're you're trying to throw out whatever uh, it is from your life that has not been serving you as well. You can see the, her pouring out from these two urns over here. So you're getting rid of maybe old relationships, uh, people that you knew. You're almost clearing the the, the decks here with this um, the star card, uh, and you know you're trying to follow your own path. Um, so it seems like whatever this was, it was a very dramatic change. A star card is ruled by Aquarius. So, you know, this was something unexpected. Uh, and But you're getting rid of old relationships and breaking ties with people. It seems like you're severing ties with people, two people in particular, it seems. And you're making that decision to do it. You're, you're, you're Maybe you're a bit conflicted about it as well. Uh, there's some information that is missing. This woman's eyes are covered as well. So, uh, you know, you are feeling as though people have not kept you informed as to what is going on. And you are getting rid of relationships or severing ties with people. Uh, you know, you are moving on as well. Uh, so it, it seems like somebody's brought in some kind of news that has stirred up stirred up everything and uh, has caused that tower moment or big argument or some kind of big drama, uh, big crisis in your life right now. And you're, you're, you know, cutting these people out of your life. So you've got the six of swords, uh, six of staves here, rather. And this is about, um, you know, you're going through a lot of problems, uh, a lot of issues. I mean, you have been um, winning, you have been overcoming all these problems, but still having to face a lot of difficulties uh, and having to fight for it. So there's been, um, you know, although you're getting over it, uh, you, there's been a lot of loss that you've incurred because of all these uh, problems that you have been facing. So it's not been an easy victory and it's been a struggle all the way over here. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this could well be that, you know, you're going through a divorce situation here. The Ten of Pentacles is generally uh, cutting ties with somebody that you had some kind of financial uh, tie to. So if you've had uh, a financial agreement or a financial dependence on somebody, you've ended that relationship. Um, you know, this could be a divorce and this could have been that, you know, the outcome of that divorce was a lot in your favor. Having gone through a lot of problems, this is still, you know, you are victorious, but there has been a price that you had to pay. And this has been the ending of that situation. So this could have been uh, an ending uh, on a financial basis. And it seems like you have even broken off communication with this person. You are not seeing eye to eye. It's a stalemate situation. Uh, and it seems like you know, you're trying to get rid of anything that was associated with that person and move on. You've got the page of staves over here. So you're planning on, uh, you know, maybe accepting some kind of new uh, offer, new situation over there. Now, if this was a work situation and, you know, there's been an ending of it, it seems like you may have ended that job over there and you're considering some kind of new venture and maybe even thinking of travel. Uh, on the whole, this is about travel. This is about hearing news. This is about news coming in from overseas. And maybe you're waiting for some kind of offer to come in for you, or you're waiting for some good news to come in. And this is from foreign shores. So this is about waiting for something overseas and you want to you know, maybe just leave everything and move on. You've got that fire in the background over there. So there's still a lot of drama going on around you, uh, but you're taking your stand. And it seems like you might be even considering moving off. Uh, or And this is where you're waiting for news to come in. So you've got the Knight of Swords over here. So this is about a decision, a legal decision being made. So if this is a divorce, a uh, uh, legal news will come into you. If this is about a job situation, there is going to be something to do with legal contracts, signing new contracts. Uh, make sure you're re reading all that fine print very, very carefully. And you have to be proactive. Uh, you know, you have to be, you, you really have to look at things with um, look at the finer details 
be very, very specific on how you handle the situation. Uh, make sure that you're, you're doing things, um, you know, you, you're looking at all the little ins and outs of it. So, uh, be very thorough is what I'm trying to say. Be very thorough when you're, um, analyzing all the legal issues or, uh, when you're handling all this legal information that comes in. Some information, somebody's bringing this information to you. A decision will be made and you will hear news about it pretty soon. Whatever this news is that comes in for you, you will have to act on it as well. It will require action, immediate action as well. You have to be very logical when you're dealing with a situation. At the moment, you're waiting uh, for the situation to change. So things seem a little stuck. They're not moving fast enough. This is also that card of sacrifice, having given a lot into a situation and uh, having received no benefits or no rewards from it. And that's how you're feeling at the moment. So you're almost um, in transition right now. Uh, you know, everything seems to be a little stuck after going through the situation. Nothing seems to really be moving quickly enough over here. You've got the three of staves over here. So this is about, uh, you know, there are, is support coming in for you, but this is about you planning to to move. Uh, it might be that you're thinking of planning move to move overseas, planning a move overseas, planning on working overseas. Uh, maybe you can see the ships going out there. And maybe you've been putting out a lot of um, feelers, you've been putting out your CV, or you've may, been making a lot of job applications, and you're waiting for news to come in. It looks like it's going to come in pretty quickly as well with that Knight of Swords, and this is about signing contracts pretty quickly if this is a work situation. So it looks like you know, you're know you ending uh, because due to conflict, ending a situation due to conflict, and you're planning on leaving. You might be even just generally planning on traveling. Uh, there's certainly a, a group of people that you'll be working with uh, uh, there's, this is about teamwork. Um, if you're working, if it's a job situation, if it is about just you generally deciding to travel, you might be traveling with some friends as well. It seems like whatever projects you've been working on, whatever you put out there will be successful, but you are now broadening your horizons and you are now looking at a, a bigger audience. You're looking to go global with this three of swords. So, uh, it's in the process, um, you know, where things are you're on the verge of success. So you are still putting that effort and energy in. You're still dealing with a lot of problems. You might be dealing with a lot of difficult issues. These might be just minor uh, problems that come in, but you know you have to put your effort and defend everything that you have worked for as well. Uh, so with that, uh, Rods, it's about projects, working with projects. Uh, maybe you're doing a lot of things and uh, maybe you're dealing with a lot of difficult people and you're having to sort things out one at a time. Um, you know, but just hang in there. Um, you know, you are you have the higher ground. Um, there is success that will come in, even though it's going to take a little bit of effort on your part. Whatever projects you put out, whatever you're planning on working in on that overseas front is going to be successful. So whatever you're doing, you're putting it out there and your success will return to you. You've got the Sun card, you've got uh, the Four of Staves over here and the Hyphen. So the Sun card is talking about... Uh, you know, definite success. So whatever you've been working on, whatever you're doing is going to be successful. Now, the sun card is also talking about overseas travel. You can see that there with that three of staves as well. There is that overseas travel and that is coming in for you as well. So whatever you're working on, even though you may be working on it, uh, long hours, late hours, having to, uh, you know, speak to people on that international front or uh, collaborate on an international basis, on a global basis, is going to be very successful. And you're going to get uh, some good news coming in as well with that sun card. And things are going to start moving pretty quickly as well. With the sun card, you know, things don't hang about. Although you're feeling pretty stuck at the moment, uh, that's that energy is about to change and you're about to get very, very busy. And it's going to be very successful, whatever it is you're doing. If you're leaving behind an old relationship, it looks like there will be some success that comes in for you in the sense that you might end up meeting somebody as well and they might be somebody that is foreign uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's going to be somebody that you connect with. Uh, you've got this child over here, so it's a new relationship that might be beginning for you and it will end up being very successful and, like I said, it might be with somebody that is foreign to you. You've got that four of staves. So if this is a relationship card over here, uh, this relationship might end up uh, in a marriage. This is the marriage card of the deck over here. If this is a work project that you're working on, it's going to be success and you're going to be able to establish yourself as well. So, you know, it's going to be an internationally established um, 
adventure that you're doing because you've got the four staves of here representing the four corners of the earth so you know global recognition for what you do and it's going to be very very stable and very very successful this is the card of celebration and this is a successful completion of whatever it is you're putting out there is going to be successfully completed and it's going to bring uh, a lot of wealth for you and a lot of stability uh, and also financial stability as well you've got the hierophant card as the final card over here so this puts you uh into spot where you need to get your legal advice make sure you're getting legal advice getting professional advice for whatever it is you're doing you're also in a situation where um you know, you're an expert at what you do and people might end up coming to you for advice and this is how you will be making your business or whatever it is you're working as. You'll be putting out a lot of information, giving people uh, uh, advice. It's going to be advice that uh, they will pay for, so uh, professional advice really. So it's either you becoming a person who professionally advises people and this is how you're going to get yourself established on that global scale and that's going to be very successful or uh, you needing to go and get some professional advice uh, uh, in order for you to make everything um, work out. So you might need to get some kind of professional input as well on how to go about uh, producing the success. So getting financial or legal advice uh, might be um, in, um, necessary in order for you to get to the next stage of your venture. But all in all, quite uh, you know, quite a lot of success coming your way there with the star card next to the four of staves. So it seems like uh, things are going to start working out in a very, very positive way. So even though you're feeling stuck, whatever it is you're planning, it looks like it's going to end up being very, very successful over there. And it's going to, the success is going to come in quite quickly. You've got that Knight of Swords there. This is very, very quick energy that comes in, very, very dynamic energy that comes in. So it's going to move you... Uh, you know, to the forefront pretty quickly. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Wolf Pack. And the first card is Temptation. At this time, you'll be tempted to take a risk or spend money that you cannot afford. Um, so it says avoid temptation at this point. So, um, you know, make sure that you're well planned out. Um, don't do things... Um, based on uh you know um how you're feeling at that moment make sure you think about things have a plan in place uh before you do things so um um be very very um deliberate in how you do things you've got choices coming up over here so you'll find there are many choices that are being presented to you choose wisely as it will it will influence your future seek good advice from professionals so here again you do need to seek some professional advice it says because you have to make a decision and here again with the hierophant it is about seeking uh good professional advice in order for you to become successful um, somebody who uh, gives you the advice that has got uh you know um that's doesn't have really any um um it's not going to affect how they uh give you the advice so uh, a professional uh giving you advice that is um you know tailor-made to suit you and uh, tailor-made to suit the betterment of your career um so somebody with no hidden agendas is where you need to get your advice from really <laughs> Uh, and the final card is reunion, an opportunity to meet a soulmate, an act of destiny, realization of personal hopes and dreams, a change for the better. Life works in cycles. From the past will come happiness. So this is about getting together with somebody from your past. Um, it looks like there's some kind of reconciliation coming in over there. You will be meeting an old friend and they might bring you some very, very important advice or uh, something that is going to allow you to move forward. So there could be reconciliation, but there could also be some good advice coming in from somebody that you've known in the past. And this is going to allow you to move forward. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. So the first card is the Empress card. And this is saying, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. So with the Empress card, whatever you're working on is going to be very financially lucrative, very financially successful. It seems like you're working alone, but it will be successful because this is the card ruled by Venus. So uh, whatever projects you're working on, whatever you have been, um, you know, putting your hopes and um, putting your hopes on is going to be very successful and it's going to be for your own personal improvement. 
So an improvement of finances and abundance coming in over there. You've got the seven of Raphael, so time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action and need for detoxification. So with this seven of Raphael, it's about being a little bit confused. Uh, you know, you have got those choices coming in over there for you over there in, this, in the wolf pack. You've got the choices card over here. If you're a bit confused about things, there is a need for you to get some kind of advice. Oops, that card's fallen. You've got um, the seven of... Um, uh, Raphael over here and this is talking about making sure uh, that you are uh, looking into each situation very clearly um, carefully and also making sure that you are doing your research uh, and get some professional advice as well if you need to, um, uh, to make a decision. And then you've got the Three of Ariel, which is the Three of Pentacles over here. So do what you love. A great time for personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner so there again where you've got the three of ariel and you've got that three of staves so you will be working with a group of people and it looks like it's going to be something international as well some kind of international collaboration or even traveling there to meet with these people you are coming across as an expert with this three of Raphael, but uh, you know you're also going to be collaborating with a lot of experts as well so all in all you'll be very very focused on work pretty soon there's some kind of decision that you have to make that's coming up possibly uh, maybe uh, you know in your in a new job or something that um, allows you to go and work with a lot of people and your focus is going to be a lot of work so it's going to be a lot on work so you might be starting a new job or even getting promotion things seem a little stuck right now but they're about to improve you've got the sun which is showing absolute success that is coming in for you over there and um, you've got that uh, knight of swords over here so this is about signing new contracts something brand new coming in as well and you're going to have to move pretty quickly it looks like it's going to be a job that's going to involve a lot of travel a lot of collaboration but it's certainly going to bring in a lot of success um, and money will come in uh, that way you've got that sun showing that then whatever you set your mind to and whatever you work on now uh, is going to be pretty successful as well so don't let any kind of little uh, problems or issues uh, slow you down or deter you you're about to embark on something really big uh, there after ending a very difficult situation with that death card and going through a lot of drama it seems like things the wheel of fortune is going to bring in a positive change for you